Arcus Life members, Martin Chuck here, and this tip is all about club face control. If you're a golfer that says, oh man, I just can't seem to get through the shot today. Well, I always say to that student, you weren't prepared leading up to the shot, meaning that the club face has to be prepared while it's traveling at high speed on its way to the golf ball. If you've got a club face that's unreliable, in most cases, wildly open, then you have to stall and stay back and try to use your hands and roll the face into impact. Let's take a look at this video. So here's a good example of two golfers. On the left, we've got former world number one, Rory McIlroy. And then on the right, a gentleman who comes to the golf school who suffers from an open face condition. So let's take a look from down the line. I think you'll see this a little bit more clearly. The gentleman on the right, to avoid slicing the ball, takes the club and zips it inside. Now watch where this club face is late in his golf swing. The club face and arms are out, and you can see where his loft is pointing. It's pointed up. Now let's take a look at Rory McIlroy at the same place in his golf swing. When I take the club to the last parallel, where the club is parallel to the ground for the last time, you can see a massive difference in where the loft is pointing at this critical juncture milliseconds before impact. In fact, if I take both of these golfers and work them down to the golf ball, you can see that Rory is prepared to hit the shot. The face is almost square well before he gets to the ball, where the other gentleman is going to have some big time issues. In fact, face on, if I zoom around, one's got to back up and one doesn't. The gentleman with the open face has to back out of the shot. Let's talk about this a little bit more. So I think it was pretty easy to see. The gentleman did not want to slice the golf ball. And most people that don't want to slice it, take it inside because they feel like that's the way they're going to swing inside out. But this fellow just had a club face that was wide open late into his swing. And from here, the only way you can hit the golf ball without hitting it way to the right is to hang back and try to roll the face shut. So I want you guys and gals out there to think about that club face on its way to the golf ball, it's got to be in an organized position. So if you can go and take this club where you'll feel like the shaft is about over your toes, let's feel like the toe is fractionally tipped down, just a sliver, just a, maybe a couple degrees closed from vertical. Grip the golf club from here, and then what would that be like if you could unwind your body to get that face on the ball? I bet you'd do really, really well. Most folks struggle because they lose control of the face late in their swing, and then there's a big response to stand up, to throw the hands at it. They'll do anything to try to score that face. So if you're prepared leading to the strike, you're gonna find that you have a reliable club face, and you're gonna, that golf ball is gonna be far down the middle of the fairway, hopefully farther than your buddies. So thanks for watching this tip, and I hope it helps.